What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Frog season is currently underway here in central Arkansas and we finally have some good weather to get out here on the lake and try to find some frogs. Now if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we like to go after them with our hands, with nets, with whatever we can do, but we especially like to go after them with crappie jig rods, with little crappie jigs attached to them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a canoe out, we're gonna spotlight around, and when we find a frog, we're gonna try to get as close as we can to it without spooking it, and we're gonna pitch the crappie jig out there in front of his face, and bullfrogs are voracious predators. They will literally eat anything that hops in front of their face, including like baby turtles. We found baby turtles inside bullfrog stomachs, as well as like baby snakes, crawfish. So you put this little jig in front of their face, they will definitely go after it. I'd say nine times out of 10, at least until they become a little bit skittish later on in the season. We've already heard some bullfrogs croaking in the distance, so only thing left for us to do is to get in the canoe and start looking around and try to find some big ones. We hope you guys are excited to join along with us on this frog jigging mission. If y'all are, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and let's have a night of catching some big bullfrogs. Woo. Let's go. Here we go. Jay is dialed in. We've got a bullfrog right here on the rocks. Zoom in on him so you can see him. Okay, let's see if he'll eat that jig. Come on, buddy. Eat that jig. Eat the jig. Get a little bit higher so you can see it. Oh, oh he, he bit at it. He bit at it. He didn't get it. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. And just like that, guys, we are on the board. Way to go, Jay. Got the first one in the boat. I didn't know if I was gonna get this one or not. He was being tough. It took a lot of finesse, and he bit like when we were least expecting it, too. Wow, that is a big one. Look at the legs on that thing. Hold his Ooh. legs up. Holy smokes, Jay, that's a big frog. Oh yeah. Huge <laughs> frog. Now that is how we get the night started, Jay. Big yes. old fat bullfrog. And the best thing about this is there are four right in front of the canoe. Woo! I'm about to fill this cooler up quick. Yeah, we gotta put this guy <laughs> in the cooler and let's get up there and see if we can catch another bullfrog. Big guy. Okay, we're up here on our next frog. He looks like he is in the feeding position. <laughs> He's probably gonna eat it right off the bat. Come on, Froggy, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Eat that jig. Eat the jig. Eat the jig. What's he gonna do? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! He's big. Oh yeah, he's big. Oh, he's Incoming. in the boat. He's in the boat. Incoming. Woohoo! Got him. <laughs> awesome job, <Whoa>. Jay. <laughs> he's heavy. Yes. He was very heavy. Man, look how the frog got that jig right in the top lip. <laughs> he smoked it. That was so cool. That one did not take as long as the first one. Uh -uh. When they're in the grass like that, they are in full like feeding mode. Yeah. They, are, they are looking for stuff to eat, except for whenever they're they're breeding. But they're not really looking to breed right now. They're just yeah. out here just getting ready, eating a bunch of crawfish, minnows, baby turtles, and of course, crappie jigs. <laughs> Anything that's put in front of their face, they're eating it. And it's great to have the slab queen on your side whenever you're trying to catch these bullfrogs. She just, oh. she works wonders for that little crappie jig. Yeah, out here, I'm not the slab queen. I'm actually called Jiggy J. <laughs> so don't mess with Jiggy J. Jiggy J, the bullfrog master. She'll get you every time. Yep. <laughs> Top lip, pinned. Still can't get that guy out Can't get the hook good. out, oh my gosh. Okay, we have another frog spotted. I'm gonna catch this one for sure. For sure. Does he have it? I don't know. Oh! Oh, does he have it? Oh, he hit me with him. She hit me with him. <laughs> Look at there. She said, without a doubt. And yeah. she was right. <laughs> You're like three for four tonight. Heck yeah. How about that? That is a great percentage. We got a good hook on there. We're using this little tiny hair jig. It's got a sharp sickle hook on there. 
That's a good one. Look at those legs on that guy. I know. Like, he ate it, but I was like, oh, I'm not really sure if it's in his mouth or not. Yeah, he was but, facing the opposite direction. Yeah, so I couldn't see, but... Heck yeah, you're on a roll, Jay. Woohoo! Okay, so we're doing really good so far. This is frog number three, and we've only been out here for just a few minutes, so we're doing good. Yep. I'm getting really excited, and I don't know how many we're going to catch tonight. Yeah, and in case y'all are wondering, the limit here in Arkansas is 18 bullfrogs per person. We're definitely not trying to catch 36 bullfrogs tonight. Oh, no. Um, but like eight or nine or ten or so would be perfect. Yeah. Let's get him. We got to be careful. We got to do this fast. All right. Three, two, ah! Oh! Ah! That, was that was almost, almost bad. A tragedy. We almost <laughs> lost him. Good hands. <laughs> Okay, we have a frog on a log, and Colt is going to take a hit at it. I don't think there's any chances he's going to eat. This one's going to be really tough. Oh. Yeah. Dang it. All right, Cole is going to have a go at catching this frog right here. I am so close to it. Oh, my gosh. Come on, buddy. I think he's going to do it. This frog is in the feeding position. He's hungry. He's yeah, in the he's boat. in the boat. Oh, he's in the boat. Hang on, I gotta zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, guys. There is my first frog of the night. My first frog of the 2021 frog catching season. And uh, as you guys saw, he was in the prime feeding position. After you know many years of us doing this, we know just exactly when these frogs are probably gonna eat the jig. Not all the time, but like we said, about 90% of the time they're gonna eat when in that feeding position. And you can see right at that top lip. I think it's called a shiny honey jig. A little arky shiny honey jig with a little sickle hook. Big old beefy frog leg. I think this is our fourth one, right? Yeah. Fourth one, and we have a couple more behind us, so I'm gonna get to go at those real quick, and then we're gonna swap back off. We're just gonna go back and forth on a few frogs each, and we'll just see how many we get by the end of the night. Heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> he does it. Okay, we found our next frog, and it's a big one. Real big one. Real big one. Oh my Frogzilla. goodness. Frogzilla. Oh, look at Frogzilla. Oh, he's right here. Come on, buddy. He got scared. I don't know if he's going to eat it. He went for it, but he didn't have it. He's, he's got it. Oh, yep. Oh, Frogzilla! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Frogzilla's crazy. Frogzilla! <laughs> <laughs> He's honestly not as big as I thought he was going to be, but it's a really good one. He's about twice the size of the one that flung over the side of the boat a minute ago. <laughs> I can't believe he ate it. I threw it in front of him and he turned and ate it. I, didn't, I couldn't see if he had it, but then he jumped and got scared, but he still wanted it. Early season frogs are the best frogs because they're so dumb. <laughs> yeah. So unsuspecting. Like two weeks from now, these guys will be very, very finicky, very hard to catch. Gotta get them while we can. And the cooler. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you ready to catch some more frogs, Jay? Heck yeah. All right, I will trade you a jig rod for the camera. Ah. Guys, if y'all thought the last frog was Frogzilla, Holy imagine that frog times two, and you have this guy right here. This dude is huge. Ooh. A huge male American bullfrog. Jay, drop that jig down. Oh, oh, no. Not too high, though. Make him come down and eat it. He has to eat it off the ground. There you go. Oh, my gosh. We are right up in this guy's grill. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was an old smart one there. We were, Yay. he was sitting up a little high. You want him to be a little lower. Old wise guy. Ugh. Well, let's come back and see if we can hit him again later. I mean, obviously, guys, we know if we were using like a gig or our hands or a net, we probably could have gotten him. Oh yeah. But we like to do it the sporty way with a crappie yeah. rod. It's fun. Right? <laughs> we'll come, we'll get it's him. It's more we'll, challenging. We'll get him one day, as long as somebody else doesn't get him first. Yeah. Okay, Jay, on to the next frog. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, we're on another frog. Looks like a pretty decent one. Will he eat the chip? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's right there. Did he eat it? Did he get scared? He didn't get scared. Oh, oh. nope, he's scared. Smoke his cheese, Jay. Ooh, he's hungry. Oh, he's a hungry fella. He's gonna eat it. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Win. Oh boy. Oh boy, is this the frog? We've had a little dry spell, Jay. You start off like three for four. Yeah, I did see that. What was that? I don't know. These fish, these frogs, these fish, these frogs <laughs> are getting skittish over here. I was just raving about how these early season frogs are easy, but these guys are spooky. Oh my goodness. Someone must have been messing with these. Yeah, somebody must have. These guys are finicky. <laughs> he jumped straight up like a, like he did like a ballerina move or something. I know. <laughs> okay, we're going to see if I can film and catch this one at the same time. Oh, I did it! Oh, I had it! That was so close. Oh, smoked him! Oh, oh he's God. in the boat. He's in the boat. Whoa, Jay, how many frogs did it take to catch that one? Uh, I had to miss too many. I know, but I mean like 10. Dang, that's crazy. Well, we, yeah, think, we finally got another one. <laughs> yeah, we saw a couple of other boats. We think that maybe they went through the pass that we went through before us, maybe spooked these frogs a little bit, but yeah. that, that happens. Yeah. And it could have been spooked by some other boats, you know, a couple days ago. The season's been in for about a week now, but that's a good one. Heck yeah. I'm not sure how many we got. We have like six or seven now. I was very nervous. I was like, man, I do not want to miss another fish or another frog. Yeah. Well, it's not really your fault for missing. They just, they're just skittish. They just don't yeah. bite it. Yeah. I guess we missed a couple though. Yeah. Oop. That's Frogzilla. okay. Frogzilla. Frogzilla. <laughs> okay, let's get him in here. He's bigger than I thought he was. Dang. He's bigger Dang. than I thought he was. Yes. Oh, wow. You did it. I did it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Got our last frog of the night. Our headlights and our spotlights are starting to die. This guy just came out of nowhere. We ran through this spot a couple times, didn't see any frogs, and he just popped up. And that's a nice one. Heck yeah. Wow. Woo! And he got off the hook. And luckily, I was able to snag him before he got away. Hey, that's how you wrap up the first bullfrog mission of the year. I think we have about, we have seven or eight in there. We'll have to count when we get back. Um, but yeah, that is awesome. Got some tasty frog legs that will be awesome to fry up tomorrow for lunch. So let's get this guy in the cooler and uh, let's pack it in and call it a night. Let's John, go. Well done. Big old bullfrog. Woohoo! Well, last night we did pretty well chasing down frogs for our first time this season. We ended up catching seven nice sized American bullfrogs. We had an opportunity to catch probably 10 or 12, maybe, maybe even 15. Um, but they were just kind of skittish last night and we're kind of early in the frog in season I mean once we get to maybe about the beginning of May we get some warm nights Maybe get a warm rain. They will come out like out of everywhere There'll be frogs all over the place and they'll be a lot of fun to catch um, Another reason why I think we might have missed a few when we're talking about this jig we were using This is the jig we were using last night This is the little shiny honey jig and we we're talking about it has a light wire a little sickle hook on there And it was sticking them pretty well But what we noticed is when those fit was when those frogs were coming off in the boat that the hook was actually bending out so I think some of those frogs we lifted up out of the water and didn't get in the boat, they just fell because the hook straightened out. So we're gonna have to use a heavier duty hook next time we go out jigging. But otherwise, it was a lot of fun. We spent about two hours out there and we got a nice mess of frogs. So what we're gonna do now, if I don't knock my frog over, is we're going to show you guys how we skin and clean one of these frogs and then we're gonna do the best part of all this, which is cook them up. So let's take this little guy here. We'll set these guys aside. Got some really nice ones here. And this guy, while he is the smallest of one, that's a really, really decent sized bullfrog. So what you're gonna do, it's really easy to clean a bullfrog. You wanna have a sharp knife, a pair of skinners. These are just catfish skinners. And then you're gonna want something that you can cut through bone with. Um, normally I have some game shears, but I couldn't find them. So I have some garden snips. These will work just fine. So what you'll do is you can either make a cut right behind the head or make a cut down here by the legs. It really doesn't matter. You're not gonna get anything off the back. There's literally nothing right here. It's just bone. Hear that? That's just, there's nothing there. There's no meat there. There's like some skinny, little skin meat, but it's just really not worth getting. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just make a cut behind the head real quick. Okay, so we got our cut across the back and we'll just grab the skin, just like you would skin a catfish. And you're just gonna peel the skin right off the frog. Peel it all off in one snip right there. So what you're left with is you have the legs. So right here, 
You want to cut this part right here. This is um, what connects everything to their di digestive tract. So you'll just cut that little part, just kind of nice and easy. And then you're cut all the way down to that backbone. And what I like to do is just take my either game shears or snippers and I just cut it in half. Just take that off. And we have the rest of our frog. I'm gonna throw this in the bucket. We're either gonna put that rest of that frog in our garden or we're gonna use it for catfish bait. One of the two. So the rest of the frog is definitely not gonna go to waste. So then what you're left with is a pair of legs with the feet on. You can leave the feet on if you want to. Normally we just cut them off. So we'll just snip them off. The snippers are kind of dull, but they're getting the job done. There's the feet. I might feed these to my pet fish. Mr. Bass would probably like to eat these frog feet. And then we'll just separate these two legs. You can leave them together if you'd like to, like if you're gonna throw them on the grill. I like to leave them together, but we'll just cut them off. What we're left with, they're kind of dirty right now, but we'll rinse them off is a pair of delicious, fresh frog legs. Yummy. Isn't that great? Yeah. Anytime we can get out on the lake and harvest our own food, it's just, it's just really great. We prefer to catch our own food than buy it at the store. And especially frogs, I mean, frozen frog legs at the store are definitely not nearly as good as the ones you catch yourself. So we're gonna clean the rest of these frogs real quick and uh, we'll get to showing you how we cook them up in the deep fryer. We just wrapped up cleaning up the rest of those frogs. We've got some beautiful, delicious looking frog legs here in the bowl. I'll rinse it off in this water. We have 14 frog legs to eat today for lunch. And I'm gonna show you guys how we are going to get them ready to throw into the deep fryer, which is heating up over there. So it's very easy. Um, this is definitely a method that I would recommend doing if you want your frog legs to be extra crunchy. And we're gonna start off by throwing our frog legs in this bag of flour. So they're already kind of moist just from being in the bowl. So let's get these guys, we'll shake off the excess water. And we'll throw like four or five in here just to get this party started. There's two, look at that. It's like a little chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a soggy chicken leg, but hey, it'll work. These guys are often referred to as uh, swamp chickens. As far as like, what they taste like, I mean, it literally tastes just like a, tastes like a chicken. A chicken and a fish had a baby. But better. But better, it's so good. Okay, so we got some in the bag and we're just gonna give them a little shake, 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 shake. I think we got a leak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's all right. It's all right. A little flour didn't hurt nobody, guys. Okay. So there is phase one. I go, I guess phase one is cleaning the frog and rinsing them off. So that's, I guess, step two. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take our guys out individually and we are going to dip them in some milk. You can use milk. You can use buttermilk. You can also use um, whisked eggs. We didn't have any eggs. Normally I would do eggs and milk together, but we're just gonna do milk today and it all works out. So we're gonna give them a little dunk in in that. Okay. A little dunk. And I'm just gonna do just this once just for demonstration purposes. And then once we have them dunked, we're going to move them over. Oops, I gotta open this up. We're going to move them over into our seasoned batter. So this is, um, Uncle Buck's beer batter. It's really, really tasty. It's kind of spicy. It's just, it's just really good, especially on frog legs. So we've got that guy. We're gonna throw him in here. Got him double dunked and we'll shake him up. Now, if you are somebody who also goes out and catches frog legs in the spring and you have a recipe that you would like to share, definitely do so in the comment section below. We're always wanting to dig up some good, juicy, delicious frog leg recipes. They're really hard to mess up, guys. They're so good. And then once we have that, this is our finished product. Let me pull them out so you can see what it looks like a heavily battered frog leg. It's kind of blowing in my eye. The leg's blowing, wind, wind's blowing, <laughs> hitting my eyes. Can't looks talk. <laughs> that looks great. And so I think our, our deep fryer is heated up. So let's just run over there and throw them in the, throw them in the deep fryer so we can show you guys what this all looks like. Gentle. Ready, Jay? Ready. Here we go. And boom. Mm. There it is, guys. That's the process. That is how we deep fry our frog legs. So we gotta get back over to the table. We gotta whip those other ones up real quick so we can throw them in here so that we can get them all cooked up around the same time so we can enjoy them in just a few moments. Okay, here's our sampler. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Let's think about that, Jay. That looks delicious. Okay, let's set him 
on the plate. We'll let him start cooling off. It's starting to rain a little bit, so that'll cool him off. Let me grab the rest of these frogs real quick. Look at that. Don't move a second. Crispy golden pupil section. Hey, you caught that one. Let's let's drop these bad boys in there. Let's get the rest of the squad going. This would be a whole lot more appealing to the eye right here. Oh, baby. You gotta be careful of those frog legs. Now, just because they're detached from the frog doesn't mean they won't start trying to kick around and kick out of here. They got some weird nerves. Especially pour some salt on them. They start jumping all over the place. This second batch is looking dang good. Oh man. You wow. can just feel the crisp on those. You really, I really like my frog legs to be crunchy, don't you, Jay? Yes. There's nothing worse than like a soggy frog leg. When you cook them this way, even when they kind of cool off, they still maintain their crunch. Mmm. It's just like with anything, like with chicken, with fish. Ooh. If you want it fried, you want it to be crispy. Heck yeah. And brown. Jay, you pumped? Yeah, look at this tray, guys. Like, this is so exciting. I cannot wait to dig in. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to do the taste test. Okay. Oh my goodness, these look delicious. <laughs> this is like the best okay. part of all these videos is the taste test. The taste Although test. Although I have a feeling where this is going. Okay, it's ready? Be good. Yep. Oh yeah. Does it taste like you caught it last night? Mm-hmm. <laughs> tastes fresh. Tastes like a swamp chicken. Swamp mm. chicken? Man, they're so good. How's that breading? This batter? I yeah, this breading. It's perfect. And I heard that crunch, so mm -hmm. that's good. It is literally perfect. Yeah, she's going for the she's going for the little part first. I always go for like the thigh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can go for the thigh. <laughs> okay, she's going in. Oh wow. She's an animal. That's good. Wow. <laughs> yes. Uh Jiggy J don't play around when it comes to these frogs. Mm -hmm. We already told you that last night. Mm-mm. Man. That's good eating. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one am I gonna get? Which one am I gonna get? I'm gonna go for the little guy. I'm gonna go for the little guy. A little tender, a little tender morsel. And this one, this one we just pulled out. He's gonna be kind of hot. But, man, this is just falling apart. Looking, grab and go for <laughs> this little spot right here. Hot. Hot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's dang good, isn't mm, it? I love this time of year. I love the springtime. Fishing's good. Frogging's good. Eating's good. Everything's good in the hood. The weather's good. It's warm. Everything's green. Green. Our gardens got are. Got some flowers. Got some flowers. Our gardens are, are thriving. Let me show you guys the gardens at some point. We'll do that in another video. But this video is all about the frog legs. And this is delicious. And I definitely recommend. Now, if you've got any spot where you think you got some frogs, or you got a spot where you know there are some frogs, you should go out there. You should definitely go out there, take a jig rod, take a gig, take a net, take your bare hands, go wrangling up some frogs and cook them up the same way we did today because it is bomb. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin Jay and the current time is 11.30 p.m. To be honest with you guys, Jay and I did not plan to go out and film a video tonight, but... I was about to go to bed. Yeah, she was about to go to bed. I, I was had, in bed. <laughs> I had already taken a little cat nap on the couch and uh, I was about ready to go to bed also, but... I actually walked outside because I was going to retrieve one of our box turtles. Jay said she couldn't find one of our turtles earlier. And we we're going to bring them in because it's kind of cold out tonight. We like to bring our turtles in whenever it's cold. But when I stepped out of the door to go and retrieve the turtle, I heard this crazy commotion out in the distance. <laughs> it sounded like the largest chorus of bullfrogs you could imagine. Like I could still hear them. They're kind of faint. They're distant. I'm not sure exactly where they're at. But I'm sure that if we take our canoe out and paddle out there, we can probably key in on them pretty quickly because they're making a lot of racket tonight. So we had a storm roll through a couple of hours ago. And that's kind of what kept us inside um, earlier tonight. And we just figured it was going to keep raining, but it, it went away. So we're going to give it our best shot. It's kind of windy, but I think we're going to be able to catch some frogs tonight. So we're excited. If you're excited for today's episode, be sure to give this video a like. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And with that being said, let's get out there and let's, let's see if we can find the mother load <laughs> of bullfrogs. Let's get them. Let's go! Oh my gosh, guys. Did y'all hear that? 
Holy crap. <laughs> We're out here, guys. We are getting closer and closer to this massive chorus of American bullfrogs. Just take this in for a second, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're getting dangerously close to these frogs, guys. Okay, we've been out here for about five minutes. And the frogs are closer than I thought they were going to be. Okay, I think we have about another 25, 50 yards before we start seeing eye shine. Let's get up there. Can we reach him? A little closer. Okay. Jay's going in for a first frog. Get him! Yes! Holy smokes! Look at this guy! What a giant! That is a huge bullfrog! First one of the night and it's a big one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And there are so many just still just getting it over here on our side over it's here. It's about to get so wild. It's about to get really wild. <laughs> Alright, well let's put him in the cooler and uh, let's see if we can get some more. Get him. Oh. I almost flipped the boat! <laughs> almost flipped the boat, that's alright. But I got him in the boat. Frog number two. Let's get a look at that guy. Woo! Nice. That's a big one too. Smoke him. Yeah! Like a great blue heron. <laughs> the claw. The claw is back, the guys. The claw is back. The claw is back. Woo! Another fat one. Wow, these frogs are big tonight. <laughs> oh, God. He almost took out. <laughs> She's the frog queen. Oh. <laughs> he almost got away. <laughs> wow, you're making this look so easy. This is like my can't miss method. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Jay is literally the best frog snatcher in all of North America. Busting. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You got them long arms, Jay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we've Ooh. been out here for five minutes and we've already got like seven bullfrogs. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. That is, that is worth getting out of bed, getting out of our cozy, comfy bed, and coming out here and getting these big bullfrogs. Heck yeah. Get him. Get him. Oh, oh barely grabbed barely him. Barely got him. <laughs> got him by the leg. <laughs> I got him with my pinky. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> the old <Whoa>. pinky grab. <laughs> Throw him in the cooler. Be quick. He's about to try to jump out. Ooh. Give me some. Give me some of the pinky grab. <laughs> we can't reach him. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a little bit breezy out here, so we're having to fight the wind. I'm paddling with one hand. And then Jay's got a flashlight in one hand and- And you're holding the camera. <laughs> and I'm holding the camera. So we got lots of things going on, but hey, got another frog. That's exciting. I didn't think I was going to be able to get that one. I knew, you just kept reaching and he didn't get scared, so. <laughs> one for the cooler. Okay, Cole is going in for the daily double. Oh my God. Oh! oh! Oh, I came back one? with one. Yep, I tried oh. to. I couldn't get my hand big enough around. Oh, that's a big one. And that's my first frog of the night. I was letting Jay take over the frog catch business for the first part of this, but I wanted in on the action. Saw the daily double right there, and unfortunately, I only got one, but hey, that's a big frog. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. awesome. Dang. Dang! That one dipped, but I got this guy. <laughs> Woo. Dang! I knew you almost hit the boat. I know that. I knew that was gonna be kind of a long shot. I, I braced my leg on the other side so it wouldn't flip. Uh, but anyways, got another frog. Woo! We'll take it. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Woo! <laughs> got him. Dang! Turn my light off. Another big old fat guy. <laughs> They're all blown up. 
Whoa. big one. These are some of the biggest frogs we've caught all year so oh, far. No. The big ones are out. It's so exciting. I mean, everywhere we turn, we're seeing sets of eyes. We haven't even got to some of the best ground, I don't think. I mean, we're in a good spot for sure, but right out here, there's a bunch of eyeballs out there. So the limit here in Arkansas is 18 per person. We can legally keep 36. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep that many frogs because there's really no need for us to keep that many frogs, but we'll just see what happens. <laughs> awesome. Cow. Had to go a little subsurface on that when he started <laughs> dipping down on me. <laughs> he has some in his belly. Looks like a crawfish or something. Oh wow. Really cool. Okay, so what we're doing to find these bullfrogs is, well obviously we're listening for them. That's what got us out here in the first place. But out here there's a bunch of lily pads and there's scattered grass mats. And most of these frogs are congregating to these isolated grass mats. Like each one is having like upwards of like five to six frogs per grass mat. So we're shining our lights around. We're looking for eye shine. That's how you can find the frogs. You can very clearly see their eye. It's like the size of a marble reflecting back at you. And then we're just paddling up to them, keeping our lights on, trying to keep it right in their eyes. It blinds them. and then you. Can get real close and snatch them up so i mean there's tons of ground to cover there's frogs literally everywhere you turn so we're gonna put this guy in the cooler and we're gonna continue on our search to see how many more frogs we can get Okay, we'll get redemption. There's another one. Oh, oh, I was too slow. I was too slow. Closing in. Closing in. Can we reach it? Can she do it? Hang on. Woo! <laughs> she said, hang on. Hang on, I might <laughs> flip us. <laughs> This is so much fun. Yeah, this is a blast. Definitely worth getting out of bed for. Oh yeah. Hey, can you reach him? Okay, fighting a little bit of wind. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Whoops! He was, technically he was in the boat for a second. Yeah, just for a brief <laughs> second. He shot out of your hand like a rocket. <laughs> I barely had him. That was crazy. <laughs> Huge Grab him. Frog. Grab him. Grab his big head. <laughs> Whoa, she got him. <laughs> he is huge. That might be the biggest of the night. <laughs> Go. Wow. Wow. This is definitely the biggest one of the night. Holy smokes, guys. Look at the size of that bullfrog. Whoa. Good snack, Jay. Whoa. He almost pulled you in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's a big one. Woo! Got him! That's what I'm talking about. That is a really nice one. That's All right, this is an awesome one to end our frog catching adventure for the night. Um, the wind is really starting to pick up. There's a storm that's about to come through, so we got to get out of here, but we got a bunch of frogs. Yeah, we barely put a dent in them. There's still a ton I of frogs know. out here, so we're just going to let them get back to doing what they're doing. We're going to leave them alone, and uh, we're going to get back to the house. It's the next morning and we are so glad we got off the water when we did last night because there was a crazy storm that came through and it just would have been bad if we were stuck out there. But anyways, now we're gonna show you guys our catch. We caught quite a lot of bullfrogs last night. So let's take a look. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Woo! Don't jump out, frogs. Wow, that's a lot. That is a bunch of bullfrogs. I think we rough estimated about 24 frogs. It's what I could count from here. So definitely within the limit and plenty of frogs to go around and plenty of frogs to share. And they're really, like, we got some really big ones. Yeah, look how big this frog is. I know it's not hard to see last night, but that thing is bigger than Jay's hand. Put it up, put it up beside your head. I always do, like, a head comparison. <laughs> look at it compared to the size of her face. That's a big bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this one's our biggest, though. I don't, I don't know either. where he is. Yeah, they're all about the same size. We didn't catch any that were, like, Whoop. absolute megas, because there's some out there sometimes that are, like, twice the size of that yeah. frog. Yeah. But they may have already been picked through. I don't know. Yeah. And it's so crazy. 
crazy because I think that we barely put a dent in them because there was literally so many frogs out there last night. And whenever we left, they were still just calling like crazy. Yeah, and everywhere we shined a light, you could see their eyeballs just, just glowing just all around yeah. us. We just kind of stay in one small little pocket. And I think that that storm last night really had them riled up. Yeah. So hopefully they did their thing, uh, put a bunch of eggs in the water, and it's going to be awesome frogging for many years to come, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want to spook him. <gasps> he wants it. You can do it, Jay. That's a giant bullfrog. Oh, get in the boat! Get in the boat! 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 Yes! All right, guys. We've got our eyes on our first bullfrog of the night. Looks to be a pretty good-sized one. As you can see, I've got my little crappie jig ready to go. I've got my light on the frog. And all you gotta do is you just gotta pitch the jig right to his face and most of the time they're gonna bite it. And you just set the hook like you're fishing. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, ooh, ooh, he wanted it. He missed me. Oh, 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 he wants it bad. Oh my goodness, what's he doing? Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's a bad aim. It's insane. He's like, you got this light in my face. Oh. 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 Dang. Crap. <laughs> that frog wanted it so bad. Man, I cannot believe I missed that frog. I just, I set the hook too hard. I gotta do a lighter hook set. Okay, we're gonna find another one. Woo! <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Here we go guys, Jay is going in. Can't she get that? <gasps> Oh, smoked him! Smoked him! That's what I'm Yay. talking about! I got him! <laughs> Woo! -hoo. That's what I'm talking about! That was First epic. cast of the night for me! Yeah, so we've had three frogs and all three of them have been very, very receptive to the crappie jig. Yeah, they can't resist it. <laughs> can't resist Dang, it. that was so much fun! That was really cool. Really big one. Really nice yeah, legs really on nice it. really nice one. Here, I'll take it and put it in the cooler and then I think we saw another one right here we're gonna go try to get. All right, we just spotted another frog. Looks to be a good one. She's going in with the jig. Oh, ooh, he's nipping at it. This frog's being a little bit stubborn. Oh, she got him, she got him. Oh, incoming! Oh, oh! Oh, 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 gosh. oh. Holy cow, that took a minute. Yeah, that took quite a bit of persuasion to get our buddy to bite that jig, but finally he got it. That's a nice one. You I just tell. gotta be patient. Yeah, I couldn't tell how big he was. He was. Only his head was sticking up. That's a really nice frog. Great way. That's number three. <laughs> number three. Number three. Let's give him a box. That's awesome. Okay, we just found another frog, and it looks like the biggest one, and Cole's gonna try to get it. Come on, Cole. We just barely missed the boat. Dang. <sighs> that was a big one. The rod doubled over almost. Dang it. Man. Oh well, we'll come back here. Maybe he'll come back out in a minute. Man, we were so close. He almost fell right in the boat. <laughs> That's all right, we'll find another one. Okay. All right, Cole's going in for redemption. This is a nice one. Uh, oh, Ooh, we got him in the boat. We got him in the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I got you. You got him? I got him. I got him. Woo! -hoo. Nice one. Got him. He's not as big as the other one. The other one was a behemoth, but this is still a very nice frog leg. And we're gonna throw him in the cooler. And the good news is that we saw another one up there and another one behind us. So we've got some frogs. There's not a ton of frogs that were kind of early in the frog season. I think that as it gets a little bit warmer and we get kind of a warm rainy night, we'll have a really good night of frogging. But hey, this is a ton of fun and a great way to kind of break the ice in the frogging season. 
And so we could just as easily, you know, work our way up to these frogs and we could just grab them or gig them or do anything like that. But there's just something special about catching them on a crappie jig with a fishing pole. It's just a lot of fun. I mean, you might miss more than you traditionally would with other methods, but it's sneaky and it's fun. Okay, we've got another frog. I don't know why this makes me so nervous. I get so excited, I start shaking. Be cool. Yeah, keep my cool. Ooh. You oh, got it's him! Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh, get him in the boat! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh crap! Oh gosh! Don't lose your rod. fishing pole. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> barely. I saw him just barely knit that thing. I was like, I think he's got it. I'm going for it. Perfect. Perfect little nose hook action. Another nice. Bullfrog, we've got, I think this is number five. I think it's our fifth one. Our goal we said at the beginning that we wanted to catch like 10 or so. So we're halfway to our goal. Heck yeah. Still looking for that monster frog. There's some out here that could be like twice to even three times bigger than this one. This is a really solid frog. Okay, let's get him in the box. And it is time to hand the rod back over to you. So you can catch you a big old monster frog now. Okay, this is something that we had to be very careful and watch out for while we're out here frogging. That is a water moccasin, a cotton mouth, and you do not want to reach your hand down in the water when he's right there. Okay, we just spotted that cotton mouth and now we've got a big frog right in the same vicinity. Will he eat the jig? Jay has not missed a frog yet tonight. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Oh. You jinxed me! Why would you say that? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was I doing so good. I was very confident you were going to catch them, but that guy sniffed out the bait and he swerved us. Oh. That's all right. Maybe we'll catch Cottonmouth on a jig next. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where he went. I think he went back out that way in the woods. That's all right. We're not scared of Cottonmouth. We just have to be very mindful that they are out here in the same environment as we are, and we don't want to reach our hands down and grab one or grab a frog right next to a Cottonmouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Onward we go. Let's find some more frogs. All right. Jay's going in for some of our own redemption now. <laughs> Rash for our jinxer. This is another big one. I'm not going to say anything. Put it on the put it like on the water so he can reach down and grab it. Put it a little closer to him. He does you not, gave me bad juju. He does not like your jigging method for some reason. Okay, well. <laughs> Forget him. Let's uh, let's see. keep meandering our way through the grass mat and hopefully we'll get another shot at one. <laughs> that he was gone but nope he tried to take the little jig away with him gotcha buddy <laughs> oh, let go of my line got him that is our sixth frog of the night I think now nice little bullfrog we've got a huge bullfrog up in front of us I just paddled through an enormous mat to get over here to him hopefully Jay can stick the landing with this one this is definitely the biggest of the night. We do not want to spook him. <gasps> he wants it. You can do it, Jay. That's a giant bullfrog. Oh, ooh, he's just missing it. It's on his foot. He's got it on his Is it in his mouth? In his mouth, jerk it. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Okay, he wants it bad. This is a huge frog. This is crazy. Oh, oh get in the boat! Get in the boat! 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 Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> He's heavy! That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was really cool. That is by far. I was far. like shaking. I was so excited. I wanted him so bad. Yeah, that is by far the largest bullfrog of the night. Wow. Good job, Jay. Now that is redemption right there. You missed a couple that were probably that size, but you finally got that really big one we've been looking for. All right, Jay, hand me the big old frog. Oh, gotcha. There you go. <laughs> I love that. Let's see if we can catch a couple more big frogs. Oh my gosh, guys. There's a humongous broad-banded water snake right here. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh my gosh, he's massive. He's massive. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. Got him. Whoa! Got him. Whoa! Got him. Oh, he's got something huge in his stomach. You almost flipped the boat. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Let me get that grass off so you can see him. He has something big in his belly. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the size of that broad banded water snake. Oh my goodness. We've Look seen some, we've seen it. We saw a really nice cottonmouth there. And this guy looks very much like a cottonmouth, but this is a non venomous species. But look at that lump in wow. his belly, guys. Look at the colors on him, too. That dude is gorgeous. I saw his head just peeking up out of the grass, Matt. We went past him. I was like, oh, we got to back up and see if we can catch him. Here, now, let me see the belly. Yeah, look at the belly. Now, we don't want to try to agitate him too much because we don't want him to regurgitate whatever that is he ate. And I would almost suspect that that could be a bullfrog yeah. in his belly just because of how bulgy and how big it is. Maybe I can feel it. It doesn't feel like a fish. It feels like a frog. That could be a huge frog in that snake's stomach. Wow. Wow, what an amazing specimen. This is a really good size, a really healthy individual. I, we haven't caught too many of these yet this year either. We've seen some smaller ones, but this is a true giant out here and a true treat to kind of wrap up today's, uh, to, to kind of wrap up tonight's frog hunting mission. Wow. That's amazing. This was an amazing encounter with an incredible snake species. Uh, we handled him gently and it doesn't look like he's gonna try to toss up his meal. So we're going to gently release him back into the lake so we can get back to hunting some more of these giant bullfrogs. See ya. <laughs> there he goes. Wow, that's awesome. awesome. <laughs> All right, so the good news is that we just had an amazing encounter with an awesome water snake species, but the bad news is our camera battery is starting to die and that sucks. We've been out here for a long time. We've had a great time catching these frogs. Uh, we've got a good amount of frogs. We might even have 10 here. I don't even know how many we have in here. Um, but we're gonna head back towards the house and uh, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow whenever it's time to cook these suckers up. All right guys, it's lunchtime and it's time to cook these frogs up. This morning I cleaned our catch. We had 10 frogs exactly, so we have 20 individual frog legs in the bowl. They, they've been soaking in the fridge for the last couple of hours in the saltwater brine and they are ready to be fried up. We've got our fried eddy here. It is heating up and we have all of our ingredients, our essential ingredients. We have some fish batter we're gonna use to fry the frogs in. We got a little bit of milk to kind of make, the, make it super crunchy and good. And then we have our frogs. So let's show you guys how this is gonna work. We're gonna start just by throwing these frog legs into this bag, shake off all the water. We'll just throw a few in there to start off with. Look at that, guys. Looks like a little chicken leg. And we are going to shake those up, get them lightly coated. And then we are, move these over. And then we're going to pull the frog legs out and we're gonna set them in this little milk bath I've created right here. This is just regular 2% milk, nothing crazy. I'm gonna lay them all out and then I'm gonna flip them around in there so they get a coating of milk on top of this batter. Okay, so I'm just gonna just flip it over, just like that. This is gonna get kind of sticky, so you can use tongs if you want to, but we're just going all in today. Okay, and then we are just simply gonna return these back into our gallon zip block bag. And I like to do just a few at a time just because if you put a whole bunch of frogs in there at once, there's a good chance that they're not gonna all get evenly coated. And then we're, just, so now we're just gonna mix them all back up again. So those are in there. I think our grease is ready to rock and roll, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just start cooking them. The grease is hot, ready to go. Let's add our frog legs. Oh yeah. So frog legs are like fish, they cook pretty fast, but while those are cooking, I'm gonna get the rest of these frogs ready. 
And in case you were wondering, I was using this Uncle Bugs beer battered fish mix. It's pretty spicy, it's really good, and it uh, cooks the frogs up really, really well. So that's really good stuff. All right, lunch is ready. Let's see how well these frog legs turn out. They sure do look good. They got yeah. a full outer crispy layer. We've got the sweet potato fries, the green beans. We got it all going on in our plates right now. Got sweet tea, some Mountain Dew, and it's <laughs> everything you need for a good lunch. So let's dig in these frog legs, see how well they taste. Here we go, guys. Look at that, just like a little drumstick straight from the lake. <laughs> It's like a little swamp chicken. That's what I would, that's what I would, that's what I would say that this tastes like. It tastes like a swamp chicken. Well, I haven't tasted it yet. We'll see if it tastes like. That's what it normally it tastes like. It looks like a swamp chicken. Let's see if it tastes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my. Mmm. <laughs> mm mhm. Mm if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know when we do these taste tests, we get to like moving around, head bobbing, swaying. Wow. That's good. Otherwise, we're just kind of like. Ugh, gross, but this is really, really good. Really good. Frog legs. Dang, forget chicken. Yeah, frog legs are one of our favorite things to eat. Um, one of the best things you can actually go out and harvest out in the lake, and it's it's awesome. And it's great. You know, this is the time you year to do it. They're not out all the time, so we're definitely trying to make the most of this frog in season while they're out there. I didn't see it, you were blocking it, but. I'm sorry I blocked that, but that was really cool. He saw me and he took off and I I got him. That is sweet, way to go. First frog of the night and he is a dandy. Look at those legs, let me zoom in on him. Look at that, what a dandy, good job. <laughs> we're we are, not gonna let him get away. Yeah, we are not getting skunked tonight either. That is yep. good. We're hearing a few frogs calling like over here on our left side, but we heard this one here right in front of us. We had to make sure we came and gave him a look and we found him right away. Nice. We're gonna be eating good tomorrow. <laughs> get him. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, get him. Oh, oh, send the boat. Send the boat. Send the boat. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Got him in the foot. I saw him like cram in his mouth, so maybe he just got stuck yeah, in his foot. <laughs> Wait, what do you do? Do it again. Do it. <laughs> he grabbed it and threw it in his mouth. Heck yeah. So we got our second frog of the night. I gotta zoom out on this thing. We are too, too close. All right, so we've got our second frog of the night. Doesn't really matter how you get these guys. We got him in the foot. Good job, Jay. Woo. Way to go. We are two for two on frogs two for tonight. Two. You can't beat that hookup ratio. <laughs> right. That's awesome. All right, guys, we found another big frog. Jay's going in with the jig. Let's see if he'll eat it. These late season frogs can be very finicky. And that's why we're trying to stay our distance. <gasps> And oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Got him! Ooh, talking about them being finicky. You got to keep your distance. We upgraded to the twelve foot rod today. Normally use a ten footer. Oh gosh! Got the twelve footer, oh, and uh, Jay's got a big one in here. Hey, I got yeah, turn your light on so we can find. He's out! He's out! He's out! Oh! Ha <laughs> Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I got the big one. She's got the big one. <laughs> it tried to get away. He spit the hook. Came to me. I snatched him up. Now Jay's got him again. Ooh, look at that guy. Turn sideways. There we go. Big old bullfrog. And I'm not sure if you can hear to our left. There are a bunch calling yeah, out that way. A lot of bullfrogs. That's yeah. really exciting. It is very, very exciting. But I think that's our third one, right? Yes. Yep, two on the jig and one barehanded. We're going to try to get some more on the jig pole. And then we'll try to probably get some more with our hands. But it's been a really good night so far. Yeah. I, think we're, I think we're three for four so far. Woo. Good deal.
at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. We had to get up on this rail. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. I didn't think he was going to do it. I did not think that probably was going to do no, it. No, I didn't think he was going to do it. I had to put it right on his face to get him to commit <laughs> to it. I had a spot, but we put, it, we put a different jig on. We were using a light, just big feather red jig, and that last frog just bit the tail of that big feather. So we put a smaller, more, more compact jig with a little bit heavier jig head so we could swing it out there to him a little bit easier. And uh, it paid off. There's my first frog of the day. He's got something weird in his stomach. It feels like a crawfish or something. But sweet, we got our fourth frog. There's several more calling rats. We're just now getting to what we believe is the frog capital of this lake. <laughs> there are so many here and they're calling like crazy. So it's a good sign for us. Let's get him in the cooler really quickly without losing our other buddies. And uh, let's see if we can catch ourselves a couple more. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Woo. That was wild. We're just about <laughs> rolled out that any bullfrog that's sitting out in open water like that is not going to be catchable with the jig. So we just got to sneak up on them the best we can and go full claw mode on them. Look at that. You want to grab right there on their back above their waist. And uh, you pretty much never miss that way. That's a solid frog. We got a little bit of lettuce with him. We don't <laughs> want that. We don't want the lettuce with us, but <laughs> that's a good one. And that is our... What, fifth frog? I think that's our fifth frog. Fifth frog, look at that. Big Nice catch. Big Oh, shoot, he wanted that. Dang. Dang. Dang it, man. You can't catch them all, I guess. I thought he had it. My light, as you can tell, kind of, it's probably not even blind y'all's camera. It's about dead. So we're gonna have to try to get out here and catch as many as we can before our lights die. Jay's light still is pretty good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Here, Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you get back to doing your frog Here's slaying the things. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, incoming. <laughs> oh, he's in the boat. I got him. <laughs> I just threw that one right to you. <laughs> yeah, can you turn your light off? Sorry. There you go. Sometimes you just look at a bullfrog and you can tell that they're hungry and they're ready to eat. And I definitely got that vibe from this frog. So I just knew I was going to catch a few. <laughs> Guys, can y'all even hear what she's saying? Listen to these cricket frogs. I know, it's so loud It is here. deafening. I can't even, I mean, I feel like you have to scream so I can hear you. I think I know what you said. She said this frog was hungry and it was obvious because he's now in our boat and it is time to put him in the cooler. We're gonna try to get a couple more. Our lights are running low, so maybe try to get one, maybe two more, and then we're gonna head back to the house. Oh, baby, do it. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he just hit you in the face. What the heck? You got him? You got him? Oh, oh my God. Oh, let's see this beast. Wow, I just got smacked with the bullfrog. You did. Did he actually Snacked hit you in the face? By a bullfrog. <laughs> wow. You just barely got that one, too, it looked like. That's the biggest one in the night. That thing is huge. <laughs> that is oh a huge God. bullfrog. Megalodon. So I stole Jay's headlight so I could film her from back here. <laughs> and uh, she couldn't see him that great, but no. he smoked it. <laughs> Nice and one. I just brought him right to my face. Like, ah! ah! <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, look at the size of that one, dude. It is huge. Yeah, definitely the biggest of the night. Nice. That's Way to go, awesome. Jay. Do it, big boss. Do it, big boss. Oh, she ah! get him. Woo! Got him. Got him. <laughs> Another toad or a bullfrog. Another frog. Digging. <laughs> <laughs> Turn sideways. I want to see this. I want to see his patterns. I want to see those big old legs. Look at that. Monster. Monster bullfrog. Monster bullfrogs. <laughs> Good snag. Them and get the momentum of them coming back here towards the canoe and most of the time they'll fall up in here and you can you can get the rebound and grab them it's crazy it's like the frogs just all of a sudden just everywhere we look there's frogs i guess we just kind of found the mother load i don't even, I don't even know where we're at right now we're kind of lost back here in the swamp but it's all good because there's bullfrogs literally everywhere 
and we are filling this cooler up tonight. Ooh, he wants it. Oh my goodness. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Ah! Didn't have it. He didn't have it, did he? Mm mm. Oh. Come on. Be a good frog to end on right here. <gasps> oh my gosh. I Come on, it. buddy. Oh. Is it not in his mouth? No. Wait. Really? Yeah, oh, okay, that was in his mouth for a second. Are you just playing with it? He's like a killer whale. He's grabbing, he's biting him and grabbing him with his foot. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, he had it. Oh. That was in his mouth, wasn't it? Yep. Why'd you spit it out? He said, get out of here. Frog, I have never seen a frog do this. This is insane. <laughs> the hook is underneath his lip. Mm. You see that? Yeah. He is like almost hooked. Oh my gosh. Does, what does, the does, heck? Does try to lift him? Yes, that looks so weird. You got him. Ah! That looks so funny. Oh my god. Oh, Ow, my head. Oh, her head. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little crazy out here. <laughs> Your fishing pole is stuck in my light. <laughs> Your fishing pole is stuck in my headlight. Ow. That was crazy and really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is hooked very well on the bottom of that lip. I guess that's the only way we're going to catch that frog. That was insane. Never had a frog that committed to eating the jig, or I guess not committed to eating the jig. He was all about it, though. He did not get spooked. He was holding his ground, and uh, we eventually got him in the boat. It was it was chaos. I think this is our 10th bullfrog or so. It's a great catch. We're going to throw him in the cooler. Like I said, I think that's probably all we need for tonight, so I think we are going to pack up our stuff, head on back to the house, and we will catch you guys when we get back there. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you the frogs because if I open the lid, they're probably just going to jump out and take off. But, but uh, we're going to risk for the biscuit, right? We'll try to give you a quick little look. There we go. Let's see. How many do we have? Can you count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, 11 big, old. juicy frogs. One shy of a dirty dozen. Yep. Hey, that's all right. The limit here in Arkansas is 18 per purse, so legally we could have kept 36 tonight, but yeah. 11 is great. We definitely saw 36, but we yeah. don't need that many if we, if we had more time and our lights didn't run out, we could have yeah. definitely caught two limits. Yeah. Easy. It's crazy. We, didn't think, we did not think we would see that many frogs yeah, there tonight. We, we did not put a dent in the bullfrogs. There were so many out there. That was yep. crazy. I was not expecting to find that many. Maybe we can go out and catch some more another but night. But the conditions tonight were perfect because it was a warm night and rain is on the way. There's that a huge gets, storm coming. That gets frogs really frisky but anyways we're gonna call it a night and we will catch up with you guys in the morning okay y'all in case y'all couldn't see what we were working with last night take a look at these monster bullfrogs man we've got 11 big bullfrogs in the cooler and now it is time for us to get them cleaned up so we can make some frog legs and waffles let's go And just like that guys, look at this. We got a huge bowl full of delicious and fresh and juicy, plump frog legs. This is gonna be a lot of fun. All I gotta do now is get these guys battered up and uh, we'll get these guys in the fryer and we'll start making the waffles and it's gonna be a fantastic time. All right, Jay, what you making? I'm making waffles. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some instant pan waffle, pan I said pancake, waffle mix here in the bowl. It's not a whole lot, but it should be enough for us to make a decent amount of waffles. Hopefully. Went down, snagged ourselves our waffle iron. It's heating up. Let's see how hot it is. Oh, it's, oh, it's ooh, steaming. Ooh, steaming. I think that's good, right? <laughs> I don't know. We don't make waffles very often. Should be good. So, but at least we're not, yeah, at least we're not going to forget to spray it, though. Yeah. But it's already off. <laughs> oh, there we go. That looks saturated. <laughs> she just got, great. That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we don't burn the waffles. Here we go. 
And in the situation that we do burn the waffles, we do have some guys hanging out here in the freezer, some Lego My Egos. Might have to do those. But we figure for this occasion, we had to make our own waffles, right, Jay? Right. Oh gosh. Gotta get the full experience. Okay. I dig it. Let me get a look at that. All right. <laughs> now we close shop. And now, Ooh. you gotta keep an eye on those. Yeah. So while Jay's keeping an eye on the waffles, I actually have to go and start cooking the frog legs. So I got this little thing here, I got some eggs. I gotta whisk them up so I can dip the frogs in there. We're just gonna do a basic little um, just flour batter mix. I'm gonna dunk them in flour first, I'm gonna dunk them in the egg mix, I'm gonna dunk them back in the flour. It's gonna be nice and crispy and, and chicken-like and just, just, just it's gonna be so good. We had it the other day, basically the, the exact same way and I could eat frog legs that way for the rest of my life. It's so dang good. So let's get this guys fired up, get them ready, throw them in the hot grease, and we're gonna put the two together and it's gonna be amazing. Don't you think? I'm already making a mess. It's okay. <laughs> messes are fine. Messes are fine. We can clean up messes. But you can't have frog legs and waffles every day. Oh That's right. Woo! Ooh, we did it! Look at them! That looks good! Those look dang good. How do they feel? They feel a little crisp? Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, they... Yeah, I those, think they are perfect. Those literally turned out perfect. Okay. So I knew it was hard to mess up waffles unless you just burned them. Turn this thing off. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just unplug that thing. All right, I guess you just need a plate. Yes, we get a plate. I don't want to burn them. I don't want to burn the buns. Butterfly plate. And just get them waffles. Oh yeah, that looks good. Looks really good. All right, we're doing the transfer from the stacked waffle maker up. to the plate. We're gonna get these boys stacked up. Mm. Nice. Diapers, do you want some waffles? Do you want some waffles? Some frog legs and waffles, buddy. Does that sound good or <gasps> does that sound gross? Huh? We about to find out, aren't we? Mm-hmm. <gasps> What'd you think? What'd you think, buddy? We had some frog legs and waffles. Show everybody your frog legs. Oh, look at those frog legs. Can you kick them? Can you kick those legs? Can you kick those legs? Can you kick those frog legs? <gasps> okay. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Look how big Cypress is getting. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> 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 He's so cute. <laughs> you love your bouncer, buddy. <laughs> you <Yeah>. love it. <laughs> Aww. Aren't you precious? Are you making those animals move? <laughs> Are you kicking those animals around? You kicking Aww. your frog legs? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. All right, welcome to our workstation. We've got our frog legs in the bowl. We have our egg whisk right here. We got ourselves a little tray to put our our floured up legs. As we, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then we got a bag of flour. Okay, super easy. We'll just take our frog leg from the bowl. We'll start with like, I don't know, four or so, just because this isn't a very big bag. I ran out of big bags. We'll do those four. You don't want to have too many in there because you don't want there to be any chance that they don't get fully coated. And you just gotta shake them around a little bit. We'll lay these guys out on this little, this little lid here. And I will show you why I like to do this. So now we will take our frogs that we have laid here on the lid, dunk them in the egg. It's a double battering, a double dipping. Should get nice and eggy. So that when we return them to the bag, it sticks to it really, really, really well. And I'm gonna do this with every individual frog, just one at a time, just so we get the best even crunchy coating that we can. Okay, easy enough. We'll grab the next frog leg. I always say it's the worst part of it because your hands get all sticky and it gets it's all clogged up with flour, but it's always worth it. Always worth it in the end. Because if you don't, then they just don't get as crispy. Okay, let's see if this guy is heated up. I think so. I like it. And we'll take our frog leg. Dump her in. Ooh. Yeah, we rocking. We rocking today. Two leggies.
Weather report, guys. It's starting to rain, so we're going to make this quick. Our frogs look amazing underneath here. Oh we gotta take the fryer inside. We're getting lit up by the rain. Hold on a second, guys. All right, so there's our frog legs. We had to save them. They were about to get rained on and get all soggy, but they look fantastic. Look how crunchy they look, Jay. Yeah, they look delicious. I'm glad they didn't get soggy. I know, they look so good. <laughs> we brought the deep fryer in here in the kitchen. We don't like to deep fry inside the house just because it smells of the place, but yeah. you gotta do what you gotta do on a rainy day. We tried to beat the rain, but it did just wasn't We weren't happening. fast enough. We weren't fast <laughs> enough. We got this bag here of frog legs left to do, so let's get them fried up and let's put them all together. Oh man, our second batch of frog legs looks so good. Look at that. Ooh. Look at the crunch. Look at the crisp on that boy. Ooh. Load that tray up with these frog legs. We are so close to being able to eat these guys. They smell so good. Look at this creation, guys. We've officially made frog legs and waffles. And it looks pretty dang good, if I say so myself. Yeah, and although, as you can probably hear, it is raining, it's not gonna stop us from enjoying us enjoying a nice little picnic out here underneath our umbrella out here on the <laughs> back deck. Much better than eating inside. It yeah. feels really good. It's just it's just raining a little bit. Not good for frying frog legs. It feels not, froggy. It feels froggy. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you're hearing frogs calling in the distance. <laughs> They'll probably be doing it again tonight. Might have to go back out there and get some more. What do you oh, think? Oh yeah, you might have to. Might have to. <laughs> but what we really got to do right now is we've got to take a bite of this frog legs and waffles. So I guess we're just gonna do it the same way you would do chicken and waffles. Got you some butter on top. Get you a little a syrup. syrup. You can put a little syrup on there. Yeah. Oh man. Ready for it? Oh yeah. Mm. Smokes. That is like the most delicious thing I have ever seen <laughs> in my life. Well, the most delicious looking thing. We don't know if it's delicious yet. So we've got to do the official taste test. Yes. And I think that since I you know. just got it all fixed up, you're going to go first. It looks good, but this just feels so strange to me. Uh, I guess you can start off, just try the waffles. Okay. And then, um, you know, and then take yourself a bite of frog leg. You got a little syrup on the frog leg. <laughs> Maple syrup's gone on everything, right? Yeah. Hope I didn't put too much syrup on there. No, nah, I don't think that's a thing. Mm. How's your homemade waffle? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so I'm going to pull a piece of meat off the frog. I think that looks really good. And I'm going to pair it with waffle. Waffle. Oh, okay. Here we go. Please tell me it's amazing. At least decent. Hmm. It's different. It's very <laughs> different. But it's pretty good. Pretty it's good. It's pretty dang good. Yeah. It's I'm not bad at all. I'm just sitting over here just like, I, I cannot wait to try this out. Like, I'm going for it again. You're going for it again? Well, if you're going for it twice, it's good. You're not like freaking out and be like, ugh, uh, it's gross. No. Okay. Frog legs and waffles. Who would have thought? It feels like the frog leg definitely sticks out more than the waffles when it's, they're together. That's because the frog leg is so much better than a waffle. Mm. I like it. <laughs> it good. So it's not a bust? Mm -mm. Okay, I've got to try this. Pretty good waffle, huh? That's a good waffle. Made by yours truly. That's a good waffle. <laughs> and then we're just gonna break off a piece of this frog leg. Here we go. <laughs> frog leg. Not the, not the, I guess it's kind of a messy way of eating, but here we go. <laughs> frog leg and waffle. Here we go. That's good. It's different. You know, <laughs> it tastes like something you get at the, at the state fair or something. Oh yeah. It kind of tastes like funnel cake. It's probably just cause it's like waffle and like this fried crispy stuff. But like you, I'm going in for round two cause that was, that was good. It's like not different in a weird way at all. This one just got a little bit more meat. So let's see if a little bit more meat on that one does the trick. Here we go. Ooh. That is very, very good. I mean, 
I, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just great. I'm probably going to eat like some waffles separate and eat some frog legs separate, but you can definitely eat them together in harmony and there's no like weird contradictory taste. There's nothing nothing weird about it. It's, no. it's great. It's really, really good. And the frog legs are delicious. Yeah, the frog legs are dang They're good. They're so crispy. They're always, the frog Look legs are that. always good. They're so crispy. Mm. That's what you want. You want crispy frog legs. You know, like I said, it's it's messy to do the whole egg wash deal and get your fingers all sticky, but like I said, it's always worth it because the frog legs in the end are just so dang crispy. Mm. Okay, let's finish. Let's let's just smash this thing. Yep, let's smash it. All right, guys, to say that the frog legs and waffles dish was delicious would be a complete understatement. It was so, so good. I mean, the two paired seamlessly together. It's just like chicken and waffles. You can take a bite of frog leg, a bite of waffle, you know, eat them at the same time or just eat a frog leg here and a waffle there. And it's just, <laughs> it was fantastic. And we would definitely recommend it to each and every one of y'all that likes to go out and catch frogs, you know, clean, clean and cook frogs. And, um, you know, if you're looking for something new to do with your frog legs, frog legs besides just frying them or grilling them, um, you know, turn them into a delicious frog and waffle dish. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? It's so good. <laughs> but guys, as you can see, it's still raining. Um, there's a chance there might be some more frogs to be caught in the future. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's late in the frog season, but I mean, the frogs are doing it last night, so there's no reason why they shouldn't be doing it for the next, you know, week or so. Right. So maybe we can go back out there, catch some more frogs. Of course, we want your input. If you'd like to see that video, let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this one, we would appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're Colin Jay, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.